everybody, my name is Paul Spinzeri, and this is Chem Class. Today we begin a series of videos on electrochemistry. I'd like to begin with a quick demonstration. The demonstration is a single displacement reaction between silver nitrate and solid copper. When I place the solid copper into solution, it displaces the, the silver that's in solution. As you can see, the silver is precipitated out and is collecting on the copper wire. At the same time, copper is replacing silver in solution as a cation with a plus two charge. This cation has a characteristic color of blue in solution. The electron transfer theory is used to explain how and why electrochemical reactions occur. What we're seeing is a transfer of electrons from the copper to the silver cations in solution. What this does is allows the, the silver to neutralize its charge and collect as solid silver on the copper wire. At the same time, the copper atoms are replacing the silver in solution as a cation. The chemical equation shows all substances present in solution. However, it does not show how the electrons are transferred. From the chemical equation, we can form two half reactions that show which substance loses electrons and which substance gains electrons. Note that the nitrate anion in this example neither gains nor loses electrons. It is present to balance the charge of the solution, but does not take part in the electron transfer process. We call this type of ion a spectator ion. The loss of electron is called an oxidation, while the gain of an electron is called a reduction. By multiplying the molar coefficients of the half reactions, we can balance the number of electrons lost to the number of electrons gained. This leaves no electrons unaccounted for. The sum of the two half reactions is called the net ionic equation. It only shows the substances that are oxidized and reduced. So to recap, the electron transfer theory describes the transfer of electrons as a possible mechanism for electrochemical reactions. The substances that lose electrons are oxidized, while the substances that gain electrons are reduced. Balancing the electrons lost and gained in the half reactions yield the sum of these equations called the net ionic equation. Electrochemical reactions are also known as redox reactions because substances are being reduced while others are oxidized. We can remember the definition of oxidation and reduction using the simple memory aid, Leo the Lion says Gur. A loss of electrons means the substance is oxidized, while a gain of electrons means the substance is reduced. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here in Chem Class.